What is up Cobra Kai fans? Welcome back to an all new first look Cobra Kai season six related video. The release of part one of season six has come and gone. And while there's still so much that I want to unpack regarding the first part, in this video I wanted to briefly look ahead to Season 6 Part 2 as we got our first little taste and first actual looks of Part 2, even though we still have roughly 4 months until it actually gets released to us on Netflix. So on Netflix, in addition to the release of the first 5 episodes, they also released an all new segment called Cobra Kai Inside the Dojo, where they released a 10 minute long interview style panel with the big three of creators and and all of the main cast. And for the most part, they did discuss season six part one, but there was a little segment towards the end where they touched upon what's to come in part two. And like I said, we were even fortunate enough to get a few snippet first looks about part two that are certainly gonna be getting fans excited about what's to come. So without wasting any more time, let's jump right into these first look images and screenshots and see what they could mean for the upcoming Sakai Taikai and the conflicts going forward. In our first shot, I'm guessing this is Quan right here. You see him demonstrating some of his insane athletic ability, flexibility, and just martial arts prowess doing his massive spinning kick and he gets the highest kick out of the people that have attempted this up until this point. We don't get a whole lot of context here, but we just see a lot of people looking on and it seems to be a demonstration of some sort. We then see some rapid fire shots of some actual behind the scenes tournament fights and one of them features one of the Cobra Kai students, Yoon, who was, if you don't remember, the former top student before Quan took over. And then we see Hawk facing off with one of the students, not a Cobra Kai student, I don't think, because of the red accents on that student's gi that Hawk Hawk's going up against, but it looks like Hawk might even be switching it up again with the Mohawk. It looks like that one's just a traditional lighter blue with a green accent, but I'm kind of happy about that because I'm not the biggest fan of the American Mohawk. I definitely like the idea, but I just don't think it was executed the best. We even got a little training sort of montage of Tori running around the track. I definitely have a feeling that Tori's gonna be feeling a little bit isolated at this tournament. She's going up against all of her friends and her boyfriend, so she's not gonna really have anyone. She doesn't really know Quan or Yoon. She only really knows Sensei Kreese, and her and Sensei Kim, as far as we know at this point, are not on good terms at all, so that's also going to be a very interesting dynamic to look forward to in part 2. We then see a behind the scenes shot of Billy Zabka, it's looking like he's directing now. We do know that Ralph Macchio directed season 6 episode 3, and I definitely remember seeing somewhere that Billy and Ralph would both be each directing an episode of season 6, so it seems like part 2 is where we're going to see Billy direct. Ralph did an amazing job on his episode, so I can't wait to see what tricks that Billy's got up his sleeve. Then we finally cut to some more shots from the actual season, and we see Robbie glancing over at Miguel, and they're giving each other kind of a look. Robbie seems to have a look of fear, and Miguel seems to have a look of annoyance and possibly anger. Maybe we start to see some jealousy flare up because Robbie's the team captain and Miguel isn't. We know that this is from part two because we don't see Robbie and Sam wearing their Captain Sakai Taikai headbands at the actual tournament yet. I assume they'll be wearing them once they actually start fighting, but tensions are gonna be high. The next two shots from part two are definitely the most interesting in my opinion. We see Robbie and Tori at some sort of restaurant. Robbie's glancing over at Tori and just giving her that look of disappointment, sadness, and maybe a little bit of annoyance slash anger on his face. Can't really fault the guy, I mean, they both promised that they'd be up on that stage together and Tori just kind of flips to Cobra Kai. I definitely, like I said in my previous video, I understand where she's coming from, but it's just not gone about the right way. And Tori kind of returns the favor by looking back at Robbie with the same sort of look on her face. She might even be contemplating herself if she made the right decision. And I cannot wait to see their interactions in part two. You know it's going to be coming and it's not going to be pretty, at least at first. In one of the last shots of season six part two, we see Daniel and Johnny outside with a massive skyscraper in the background. And it seems like they're definitely having a deep conversation here. We know that tensions were at some of its most highest at the end of part one between the two of them. We know that they're going to be putting their differences aside to still coach the team unlike they did in season four. But I'm not really getting a good feeling about this interaction between them. They weren't even on good terms when they didn't know that Kreese was officially going to be back at the Sakai Taikai and when they didn't know that Tori was going to be joining them. So now that they know about all this information, I think it's going to put them even more on edge than they were previously. I still have full confidence that they're going to be able to get through all this crap that they've been going through between each other, but 
this definitely isn't going to be helping the situation and it's going to get a whole lot worse before it gets better i think then we get another interesting shot and now this time it's of john crease and it's a rather unusual one when it comes to crease because throughout all of part one we saw crease just smiling happy and in his element back being a sensei and he was prepared to take sensei kim's korean students and take them to victory at the sakai taikai and this is the first time in season six where we see a little bit of concern on Kreese's face. The hand placement that he's got going on definitely also says it all. I don't think we've ever seen Kreese do something like this before. Something definitely happened that has got him a little bit nervous and maybe even lacking some confidence that this is going to be a sure thing victory for him in this new look Cobra Kai. Daniel and Johnny are then seen looking at something and they got a pure look of disgust on their face. You know this is another look at season 6 part 2 because in the background you see Robbie and Sam with the Sakai Taika headbands on. Like I said previously during the cliffhanger of part 1 they were not wearing those headbands and you know that this is right when the Sakai Taika is about to start or it's in the middle of it because they got those headbands on. And you know Daniel and Johnny are looking at something that they really don't like. Maybe it's they're just looking at Crease, maybe they're looking at Tori, or maybe they're looking at an all new threat that could arise and throw a wrench into their plans of winning the Sakai Taikai. But with that being said, guys, those are all the all new looks at season six, part two. They definitely got me feeling all sorts of excitement heading into part two of this season. Those are my thoughts on what they could mean heading into part two. Be sure to let me know, as always, down below in the comment section, everything you think is gonna happen based off of these images. Leave a like on the video if you got something new out of here today and make sure you leave a like on this video. It really helps out my channel with the YouTube algorithm algorithm make sure that you're a subscriber if you love everything when it comes to cobra kai thank you all so much for watching i'll see you in the next one no mercy Huzzah!